Welcome back, my friends, to another Wallet Monkey video. On this channel, we give you all the uh, info and credit intel you need to build and establish relationships with the banks and build your credit profile. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Capital One. And for those that have no credit or bad credit, is it still worth it to even do? The issue with this, and, and I talked about this in a recent video that we uploaded and I've been talking about it more often, is that I'm not so sure if the route that I took to rebuild my credit, which took a long time, I'm not sure if that's the best way to do it. There's so many new tools out and you know, the days of, like I keep saying, the days of these trade lines and you know, my jeweler club and stuff are very, very limited. There's just better ways to do it now. I think that people get stuck in like this thinking that they, they don't really deserve much and that they can't get much. So they end up with the, you know, the Walmart Capital One cards and you know, all these crappy Victoria's Secret cards and uh, Abercrombie cards and GameStop cards and they don't really want them but they just end up with them because they think that they're like easier to get or that's all they can get because they've got a bad score. Capital One is definitely a card that falls into that. And in a recent video, I talk about how I think it's more important with no credit or bad credit to build a relationship meaning get into the ecosystem. With American Express, it's get into their savings account. Completely can do today. You know, take that that $1,000 or $2,000 you're gonna use on the credit repair and just go and put that into a savings account. Go and open a savings account or get a secured card at Navy Fed or whatever credit union you wanna go with. There's a ton of great credit, uh, credit unions uh, opening their doors to uh, everyone now. And I'll be covering more credit unions here very, very shortly. But um, yeah, so does that make somebody like Capital One still worth it? I don't know, I think Capital One is still kind of on that line of like the old school way of doing it and now not really making sense. And the reason why and the issue is that so many cards on Capital One get sandboxed. What it means to get sandboxed is that you get this opening limit or you get in at their low tier building credit platinum card. They get you through after six payments on time and you go from like whatever 300 to 600 or 400 to 600 and then there's even a way to graduate that I've got a secret link on uh, wallet monkey uh, I'll give the link below I think it's either on the master credit card lender list or maybe it's on the pre-approval master list but there's a way to actually upgrade your cards from platinum and uh, the capital one to quicksilver uh, one and so a couple of their older cards it's a way for you to like get an upgrade and it works but the cards are still sandboxed and you know this there's a comment recently and the guy was like you know look six years later i got a capital one that's still got a thousand dollars limit on it and i got 20k mx's i mean by that point you know you got a multi hundred thousand dollar mortgages you know so it's like do you really still want that thousand dollar capital one card uh probably not i've got two myself i've got two capital ones that are just sandbox the crap cards you know so it's like what do you what do you do with that and and, and is that really a worthwhile way to go about uh, building credit or rebuilding credit? Uh, I say no. I just don't think they're worth it. Like if I had a choice or if I would have thought this through back then or maybe it was different there from my understanding when I kind of started is there wasn't a lot of these fintechs and stuff around either and the importance I didn't realize the importance of building relationships right I was I was new I didn't know anything would I have like did I get the capital one cards because I love capital one no I actually hate it <laughs> um, not hate it but the APRs are really high and they don't really seem to care you could go in there and hit the love button every single month credit limit increase CLI CLI every single month they will reject you every single month they don't care would I have done that? Is that a relationship I actually wanted with Credit One, uh, with Capital One? No, it's not. Um, not at all, actually. I'm in just as indifferent as, about them as they are about me. Yeah, I think that's what you need to look at is like, okay, if in good times or bad times, is this a bank I wanna actually have a relationship with? And if no, then don't get it. Right? Again, it goes back to the store card stuff. Like, why are we getting GameStop cards? Why are we getting Bob's furniture cards? You're never gonna use it. So what, you got, unless you're trying to thin out your utilization, which I talk about, you think your chances are good, you've done a prequel or something, you think your chances are good to get a 5, 10K, you know, Bob's furniture card or Ikea card, go for it. I got a 5K Ikea card, but I did it knowing that I was thinning out my utilization. And I did it like that on purpose. Unless you're doing it for something like that. I mean, it's, it's just, it does, I don't think it builds credit in the way that we, we think it does. I actually don't even think that, you know, the credit builder stuff builds it the way that we think it does. So that's my answer is I'm saying no. Of course, you can come here, see if you pre-qualified, uh, pre-approved, that'll help. They only pre-preview for certain cards. Let's take a quick look again. They're constantly changing it. So let's see. Yeah, there it is. Uh, Quicksilver rewards. So yeah, you can upgrade a couple of these cards like the Platinum, maybe the Quicksilver up to the Quicksilver rewards. I, I don't know. Or this one to this one but uh, there's a link it's on the site I'll uh, link it in the description box but yeah now the savior one is on here adventure rewards as well so that's good at least they're giving you a range of, um, of cards for you to check out and see what you would uh, qualify for yeah so then there's a quick silver one rewards I don't know which one is better but there is a way to upgrade them and that link will be in the description so yeah come here start here I guess maybe one of these is actually worth it to you so you'd be able to check before 
any ramifications. And I just wanted to reference this page here, which is the best credit cards for bad credit on the site. And there's all kinds of new fintechs that we go get into and we'll be covering them more. Some of them have real credit cards. Some of them just require a couple direct deposits. Some of them take out weekly draws. Some of them allow monthly. Some of them allow you to carry over balances. Some of them don't. A lot of them have zero APR. These are great things for you. Um, these are great things for you if you're brand new to building credit or don't have uh, or rebuilding credit. A lot of different terms with with these uh, these programs, but a lot of these are good. So again, it's like coming back to it. Focus on building relationships with two to three key banks. And then the ones that maybe you can't build relationships with or some other ones that you also want to build relationships with, you know, get in as an authorized user down the road. You know, FICO, uh, the latest FICO is going to change how authorized users how that's weighed on your credit report, but it's gonna take a long time for that to roll out. You know, it's not gonna roll out this year, even though it was launched this year, it's gonna take a year or two. So you got plenty of time. Uh, but yeah, that's that's my feedback on that. I, I don't think Capital One is worth it for rebuilding credit or no credit. I think they've got great cards. If you're, you know, you're in a position to get great APRs, there's some better options definitely for you there. But you know, there's better options at other banks too at that point. And it becomes a battle of which sub is the best and uh, rewards you're gonna get on, on cards and things like that. So. Um, I definitely wouldn't be looking at it the same way that I looked at it when I was personally going through rebuilding my credit. So I hope that helps. Anyways, comment below if you got something to say. Uh, hit the thumbs up button, help us get up in the algorithms more and uh, subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you're brand new here and you like this sort of thing. Share it with a friend maybe. All right, see you soon.